Hola Foodtube, I'm Omar Aliboy, I'm a Spanish chef and I'm going to be cooking a very traditional gazpacho. It's a very fresh and raw soup made with cool cucumbers, crispy red peppers, green peppers and the main ingredient, the tomatoes, which as you know in Spain we just love them. So let's get on with the cooking, if there is any cooking, because uh, this piece of kit is going to do all the job for us. We just need to roughly chop all the veggies and everything is going to be blended. So I'm going to start with uh, a green pepper, sorry, red pepper, green pepper. If that was a traffic light, I would be dead by now. <laughs> Cut it in half, put your fingers in and take the seeds out. Roughly chop it, okay? This is not for masters, that's all I'm doing. Pour it all in. I'm just going to add sort of like half a Spanish onion into the mix. Garlic clove, a tip here, if you don't like that aftertaste, uh, I recommend you to take this inner part of the garlic, which is sort of like the germ. Just take it off, because I have an important meeting later on, I'm gonna take it off. A date, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Now the tomatoes, I have a big variety of tomatoes, but uh, these are normally the ones you tend to find in the supermarkets. I've used six tomatoes, just roughly chop, quarter them. Okay, take this cucumber, cut about a quarter of it, approximately, skin on. So this is all going to be blended up, right? It just gives a little bit of nice body to the recipe. Uh, brings it all together. Use a stale bread if you have it at home. Gonna pour a bit of water, about a glass. A good pinch of salt, good pinch of pepper, a nice drizzle of sherry vinegar. You can use any, big, any vinegar again, but uh, this one, it's oak fermented uh, and it just gives a really lovely intensity. And good extra virgin olive oil, very important. Spanish, is, if possible, we are the biggest producers in the world. In my family, we always put a bit of cumin, so a nice, generous pinch. This type of the blenders, they tend to heat up the mix quite a lot because of the friction of the blades. So I'm going to just add a couple of ice cubes, just so that the mix stays cold at all times. If this gets tepid or warm, it will change flavor. Let's blend it. Perfectly smooth, or at least to me. Some of you may not like it with the bits, so you can just pass it through a chinois. That will do. And now, just pour it in a soup bowl, which we normally garnish with a bit of fried bread, a couple of croutons, a bit of garnish, cucumber, green pepper, red pepper, whatever you have, a little bit of olive oil, and sometimes an ice cube as well. When serving it in a bowl, it's important to add some extra layers of crunchiness, crispiness, so that it's not a boring soup throughout. Let's give this a taste. But I don't know why I'm amazed again, but sometimes the most simple things and the quickest things can have so many layers of flavors. You know, you can see all the fragrance of the cumin, the pepper, you know, that sweetness of the oil, the acidity, and all the different vegetables that you can actually taste. You can taste the garlic, I can taste the tomato. So here it is, my perfect gazpacho. If you would like another drink to go with it on a very hot day, please click here. It's a freshly made lemonade with a touch of saffron, very special. Please subscribe, it's free, and uh, leave any comments below of any other Spanish recipes you would like me to cook. Adios. This recipe and loads more classic Spanish dishes are in my book, Tapas Revolution.